Sarah, and this is our Artist of the Month virtual story time. Our artist for April is Tyree Guyton, a trash artist who uses random objects he finds around his neighborhood to create beautiful works of installation art. You can make your own recycled art, your own trash art, next week with Ms. Erin and our virtual how-to. If you stop by the library, we'll give you a bag of various found objects of our own. Our story is called Magic Trash, a story of Tyree Guyton and his art. It is words by J.H. Shapiro and pi pictures by Vanessa Brantley Newton. It's for permission of Charles Bridge. A winter chill whooshed down Heidelberg Street. Young Tyree Guyton buttoned his coat. Pop! His last button flipped into the gutter. He dove after it, then dug through frosty leaves. He pried a popsicle stick from the ice. He hoisted a bicycle wheel off the curb. He scooped up a baseball cap buried in the snow. Pockets clanking, Tyree darted home, a home on the east side of Detroit that already bulged with 10 children. Shop around, Tyree sang along with the radio as he unloaded the day's finds. His mama didn't earn enough money sewing and cleaning to buy new shoes, much less bikes and balls. So he zapped fun into amazing junk that others tossed away. Popsicle sticks became boards to build a house. The cap soared like a rocket ship. The wheel bounced, spokes jumping, dots danced. Let rockets fly, boards tower high. Bounce, jump, and dance. It's magic trash. Do you see any other interesting pieces in Tyree's room? Yeah, there's a little wind-up toy made out of a wagon. L little bear sculpture thing. Sort of looks like a robot. Let's see what else Tyree is up to. Tyree barely heard the thump thwack of his brother's games when he dreamed up designs. In school, he sat alone, drawing pictures. When his report card arrived, his aunt asked, Is Tyree dumb? Maybe crazy, his mama whispered. One sunny day, when Tyree was nine, his grandpa Sam, a house painter, popped a brush into his hands. Paint the world, grandpa said. Tyree dipped into Grandpa's cans of color, sloshing purple, slapping yellow, aiming his brush like a magic wand. Abracadabra! Tyree's shyness vanished. Sweet apples crunched when he glopped the red. He had never seen Lake Huron, but now it splashed in a pool of blue. Like new, Grandpa said of a glistening ladder. Tyree smiled and swirled a shade of green. Other kids on his street giggled and rasped, look at his green face, <laughs> green junk. Still, as Tyree zoomed from bent bottle caps to rusty wheels, Grandpa Sam's words twirled in his head. I'm going to be an artist, Tyree said. His mama hung her head. That's not a job. He peered into Grandpa's twinkling eyes. Tyree clenched his brush. He would be an artist, yes. Brush greens and blues on wheels and shoes. Slosh, slap, and splash, magic trash. At age 12, Tyree squinted into spiraling smoke as National Guard tanks rolled down nearby Mount Elliott Street. All his life, neighbors had raced out of town to live in new suburbs. Now, some who had stayed exploded in rage like shaken bottles of Werner's ginger ale. Tyree gawked, teeth chattering. Rioters were burning buildings in his neighborhood. What do you notice in the picture? Yeah, there's an army tank in the middle of the picture. What colors did the artist use? Yeah, a lot of reds and oranges. It's an angry looking picture. Let's see what happens. I hope Tyree and his family are okay and everyone else in the neighborhood. When he grew to be 16, 
Tyree left the shapes and hues of Heidelberg Street to seek a new life. He marched as a soldier, he inspected cars in a factory, he dashed fires as a firefighter, but he never forgot about painting his world. So he enrolled in art school to learn more about colors, lines, and designs. At last, Tyree bolted back home to Heidelberg Street. When he returned, though, his street had changed. Houses sat deserted, creeping with spirits of owners who had run away from the neighborhood. Tyree tripped over trash, lots of trash, and troublemakers lurked. They snuck into hollow houses. They even set fire to one. Woo, spirits whirl, new troubles swirl, kick, burn, and hurl, magic trash. No, cried Tyree, not on this street. His mama still lived in the same home. Grandpa Sam painted pictures inside now. Tyree grabbed his brush and burrowed through rubbish. He cast spells on suitcases, toilets, and a slide trombone. Before the colors dried, Grandpa Sam hurried out to help. They painted a busted bus. They tied shoes to trees. They flung broken bikes and cast off tires on burned out buildings and forgotten yards. And they painted faces of God in blue, black, and orange. Their street sparkled. Wow. The street looks totally different now with Tyree's art. Look at all the color. When trouble still sizzled in one discarded home, Tyree coated it in dots and squares of pink, blue, yellow, and then perched of a gentle watchdog on the porch. Dopey dealing thieves hustled from its view, chased away by the paint and barking trash. Tyree named one home Dottie Waddy and another Funhouse. Spying hungry, crying children, he dangled broken baby dolls on telephone poles and rooftops. Dolls sobbed with, doll sobbed with each puff of wind. Maybe now others would see. Bright colors flash, scared dealers dash, bark, cry, and swing, magic trash. Some people squawked about the garbage. A few neighbors complained to the city. The mayor and his helpers stomped. Soon bulldozers roared up to the project to crush every doll and board. You can't do that, yelled neighbors as dust swooped to the treetops. Get out of here, Avra screamed. Tyree's trash is beautiful. Do you think the neighbors can stop the bulldozers from destroying Tyree's art installation? Let's keep reading. Tyree scrambled to snatch a few pieces. This is my art, he cried. For the dots and stripes and baby dolls, they bashed and smashed and still. Tyree rubbed his eyes. Grandpa Sam poked at piles. Old houses talk. Some neighbors squawk. Crash, bash, and smash. Magic trash. Art had filled Tyree's and Grandpa Sam's lives. Now 93, Grandpa Sam had grown too old to help. Never stop painting, Grandpa said, squeezing Tyree's hand. And then Tyree stood alone with brushes, paint, and trash. He wasn't alone for long, though. We can help, neighbors called. Your colors and dots chased away those thieves. Together, they shoveled, swept, and hauled in new trash. After eight years of painting and rebuilding, Neighbors heard wreckers screech a second time. Faces of God watched while the city crushed two more houses. No! Tyree yelled. Tyree and his neighbors were hopping mad. This street is ours, they said. We'll never quit. They marched downtown to tell their story to a judge and jury. The city argued that Heidelberg Street was a garbage dump. No, decided the court. It is art! Tyree's work survived. The next day, Tyree and his neighbors began anew, aiming their brushes like magic wands. Children sang as they hammered and spattered designs. Even former troublemakers returned, ready to rake, sweep, and build. 
United by trash, they cast a spell on the street, brightening their homes for good. Word of Heidelberg Street spread far. It blazed across the air. Folks from Canada, Kenya, and even Japan scurried to the neighborhood. They stared. Wow! Look at that! Tyree waved his brush. Welcome. In a warm breeze, dots danced. Gleaming castoffs jangled and jumped. Let rockets fly, boards tower high. Bass jump and dance. Magic trash. And at the very back, here's a picture of Tyree painting one of his faces of God. And there's one of the houses on Heidelberg Street. It's a very short note. Let's read it. Magic Trash is based on the life and art of painter and sculptor Tyree Guyton, born in 1955. In 2011, the Heidelberg Project celebrated its 25th anniversary. Tyree continues to work on Heidelberg Street and travels internationally to lecture and assist with installations of community art. He represented the United States in the 2008 Venice Architecture Biennale. You may visit the Heidelberg Project in Detroit or view Tyree Guyton's art in museums, including the Detroit Institute of Arts. You can discover more about his work at heidelberg.org. That was really impressive. I love how even whenever the city took down his original installation, the neighborhood got together to remake everything even better and more beautiful. Public art, community art can be really amazing. And in May, there's going to be a new community art installation in Sharpsburg with recycled art, just like Tyree Guyton. A local artist named Lindsay Huff is making canned art out of old pop cans. It's going to get installed all over town, so more information will be available next month. Make sure you come to the library next week to pick up a kit with some trash of your own to see what art you can come up with. That's all the time we have for this time. I will see you next month for our May artist, but until then, keep dreaming and stay safe and healthy, friends. <laughs>